All right, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the emergency vehicle operations course. Dude, EVOC. What are you doing on my chair? Get out of my office. Sorry, Roger. As I was trying to say, today we're talking about the emergency vehicle operations course, or EVOC as it's commonly called. Now recently, several officers from this department, myself included, had the opportunity to take part in this training, and it was led by none other than our very own Detective Sergeant, Matt Richards. Although, here he's more commonly known by Goose. And I'll tell you what, he was very thrilled to be able to talk to me about this. Okay, Let's give yourself a little intro. Uh, Matt Richards with the Dixon Police Department. Uh, I'm currently the, the detective sergeant, been here for about 23 years. I'm also our resident EVOC instructor. There is a fun factor. Um, it gets you out of a normal classroom. You get to drive fast, take chances in a controlled environment. In a controlled environment. In a controlled environment, we do it out at the airport and the, the students really enjoy getting behind the wheel and doing some fun stuff they normally wouldn't do on a day-to-day -day basis. The training itself only has the briefest of classroom portions and we headed out to the local airport where Goose put us through a series of drills demonstrating the drills himself at increasingly faster and faster speeds. All right, Yoda, show us how this is done. We buckled in? Yeah, okay. So like I talked about, this isn't a speed drill. This is more getting accustomed to getting used to your squad. So first input, it's gonna be a quarter, quarter, and half. Try and maintain smooth steering and smooth gas input all the way through. Quarter and half. Half. Come on. Uh, come on. Oh! It became quite apparent very quickly that Goose likes to drive fast. Very fast. And there's a scare factor. <laughs> And having demonstrated the drills, it was our turn in the hot seat and we prepared for these high-speed maneuvers. Okay, so it wasn't very fast at first and we had some cones. Maybe a lot of cones. Level off. Left! Oh! <laughs> no way! Oh, sh Right! Ah! Ah! Once three starts to disappear, that's when you start to turn. Come back over to your passenger side. Do it again. This thing turns a little bit sharper. Oh god! Ah! <laughs> Ryan, I had so high expectations for you. 30, 40, 50. Maintain this. Maintain, maintain. Break. Here, stop. Here, stop. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> you got it, Cone. Oh. <laughs> My favorite part of this is the reactions of the students or the reactions during the actual drills because they're having fun. Then they see the benefit of the of the drills they're doing. As the training progressed, the drills became tougher and the speeds faster. One thing was definitely noticeable, confidence and skills were growing as well. By the end of the training, we were slipping between the cones with ease. Here, quarter, half, oh, half, oh, wait, fast, half, half. Even the drills where we were backing through the cones were definitely navigated with extreme precision and speed. Yes, the training is fun, but there is seriousness to it all. The skills we are gaining throughout this are intended to help keep not only us, but the other drivers and people on the roadway safe and alive. Goose, a man who loves statistics and facts, shared with us some of a more sobering nature. One thing about this train I find very important is the fact that these officers need to wear seat belts. In 2020, there were 44 accidents in which an officer died while driving a squad, and approximately 20 of those, they were not wearing a seatbelt. So it just shows the importance of wearing a seatbelt. Even if you were working in a municipality, um, small town, working in a county, you're running higher speeds, wear the seatbelt. It's gonna save your life, it really does. 
good reminder for everyone, and it's just common sense. You're more likely to survive an accident if you're belted in. If you are a police officer in the Northern Illinois area and you're looking for maybe attending some of this training, it's only half a day, uh, check with your MTUs. Uh, Sergeant Richards usually, usually runs a class uh, two or three times a year, I think. So get with him, maybe you can contact him directly, just go on our department webpage. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, you can see some more other videos we got here. Uh, we do lots of training here, so hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.